What up, guys? <clears throat> what up? People be big mad at Shannon right now. Big mad. And you know what? I don't care. Because I'm eating lasagna. Things were said that needed to be said. And the liars right now are big mad that they got caught in lying about me. And saying I'm some abusive person when I'm not. A big, big man. I don't care. Be big man. I don't care. Hi, who that? How you doing, girl? Some people are angry at me right now because they don't like being called out in their lives did i make that meal sunday no i did not my husband made me food and i ate that instead you got four hours of work left you can do it it's only four hours usually the last hours are like the quicker part of it of your job. Okay, I no, I'm going to do that tomorrow, the chicken and dumplings. Today, man, what's up, ships and night? How you doing? Yeah, I'm going to stream tomorrow. Don't worry about that. I'll stream tomorrow for you guys, bros. You know? Like, these people are bringing up old things that really doesn't really matter. Like, they're like, look at how awful that woman is. Talking about her kids like they're kids. How dare she? Yeah, isn't it, Joseph? Isn't it? And then my son comes out. And then they're calling him a liar. And they're saying he's being abusive. Okay, I thought you were concerned about my child. And now when, when he says there is no concern, he turns out to be a liar because it doesn't fit your narrative. Because that would have to mean you have to apologize to me as, an, as, serious, as a sincere adult and, and actually own up to the fact that you were lying about someone and drumming stuff up. I mean, come on now. Come on now. I just made, I just made stupid on you. I just... And it wasn't me, it was my, my brilliant son, man. Now you go and pick out a 14 year old and tell the 14 year old he's lying to save your own asses instead of doing the right thing and apologizing. I'm sorry I accused you of all these things that aren't true. Hey, Randolph, how about you mind your fucking business about my past, you psychopath? You are playing 4D chess. That's right. That's right. And, and, and they, they want to say that I'm exploiting my son. I'm exploiting my son, really? You guys have been for years talking about my children and saying I was abusing my children when I wasn't. My son finally comes out and says something, and he's the liar. He's the liar, right? Right? People who are, I don't even know in real life. People who have never been involved in my life at all. Just people who are random internet, making assumptions into truth, and throwing it back at legal authorities like it is truth. And then the legal authorities check it out and realize you're full of shit. You know? I have a job, idiot. Don't tell me what to do. Get offline. Why? Because I'm exposing you as liars. For the longest time, I said nothing. 
said nothing and all you did was build up one lie about me after another lie about me or another lie about me. You keep saying all these lies about me. I'm finally speaking up. Oh, no. You need to shut up. You need to get off the internet. You sound like you're too triggered. Maybe you should take an internet break. Wink, wink. No, that's that's your code word of, Shannon, please shut up. You're making us look really bad in front of our audience because we're going to get caught in being liars. No, I ain't shutting up. I ain't shutting up. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. See? See? I, I'm not going to be continued to be lied to and lied about. Okay? If, if you guys can keep your content of constantly lying about me, I can certainly keep my content up of me telling the truth about you lying about me. Okay? You get that? You get that? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Are, are, are you looking bad in your audience right now? Are you looking like a fool and you're feeling bad that your little ego is bad? Maybe you should go and do the right thing and give me a proper apology over the years of mental, physical, emotional, spiritual abuse. Maybe that, man. Maybe that. I think you take pretty good care of your boys. I know they eat pretty damn good, hon. Thank you, Meg. Thank you. What you got now? You got nothing. My kids say, mom's not abusive. What are you going to do now? What are you going to do now? What proof you got now? What you got now? You got, you got, a, you got my child saying that you've, you've done nothing but cause CBS to come in their lives and abuse them. What are you going to do now, man? What are you going to do now? All you got is to pick on my, pick on how I look. That's all you got. Oh, you fat. You sit in a chair. Oh, wow. You sit in a chair too. I bet you're sitting right now. Why can't I sit and you can? <laughs> right thank you joseph he is a very mature and respectful person he's amazing he's amazing but these people trying to come on and saying that he's being abused and then they're say, they're coming around and, and that he finally saying I'm not abused and then they're coming around and saying he's a liar? You give no proof that I'm abusive but yet you say I abuse. He's saying I'm not. Who, who do you think what a smart, intelligent, rational adult, whose word are they going to take? The child who said, my mom doesn't do this stuff. You guys need to stop. You're stupid. You keep calling CPS and cops on us for no reason. Who, who are they going to believe? You guys? No, they're not going to believe you guys. They're going to believe the 14-year-old because he's tired of this bullshit. Yeah, my kids shouldn't be exposed to this shit, but you fuckers keep calling CPS and calling the police over your, I'm really worried about Shannon. You're not worried about me and my sons. You just want to make trouble in my fucking life because you're a piece of shit. You think I'm just going to be silent and let you continue to abuse me and my family? You think I'm going to be silent about it? Oh, I'm going to flag your channel down. You think I'm afraid of that? I, all I'm, all I'm going to do is be like, YouTube, look what I'm saying. These people are abusing me and they're going to put my freaking shit back up. Like they have been. I mean, how many, how many, I mean, how long do you think it's going to, how many phone calls do you think you're going to keep false reporting on me and, and, and my family? How many, how many times do you think that's going to happen before you finally get caught and they finally put you in jail for a false report for 20 years? How long do you
do you think, how, how many times do you think, oh, I'm just a concerned individual. I saw this woman and she was acting totally erratic on her YouTube and, and I'm really afraid of the children. The children, just think about the children. Oh my God, she's making YouTube videos. You fucking idiots. You're dumb. You're dumb and you're arrogant, which is horrible because you're so arrogant, you don't even know you're being dumb. You're so complete. You're so consumed in this. Did you know who did this? Did you know who did this? You're so addicted to your dopamine rush that you invent shit up about people or you take old shit from very long time ago like three, four years ago that really don't even mean anything. That's really really small in the long run and you make it into something huge. I can't believe, and you do this false outrage. I can't believe that she would do something like that. How dare she? You know? You know? Yeah, nobody called CPS on me. You liar. You liar. You liar. You liar. You liar. You liar. You're a liar. Imagine this is a mother. I know, a mother sticking up for her children. I know, it's just so shocking. A mother's sick of being bullied and, and having people false report on her. I know, it's just so horrible. I'm so, such a horrible mother sticking up for my kids and getting sick of people freaking abusing the system for their own little internet kicks. People who get the kick out of false reporting to CPS are literally human garbage. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. I think they are. And they keep freaking bringing up the, the kids. They keep bringing up the kids. You exploited your kids. Now you exploit my kids. My kids are just sick of being exploited by you guys. So you can keep saying I'm exploiting my kids while there's plenty of video evidence of you keep bringing up my kids, you keep bringing up my kids, and me saying, please don't bring up my kids. But you keep doing it anyway. Aha, uh -huh, we're going to trigger Shannon. Okay, okay, well, I'm just going to keep saying what you're doing. I'm just going to keep saying what you're doing. That's okay. That's okay. You can go and say I'm exploited my son when my son was literally saying what you guys were doing. So that's exploitation. Not really. He was exposing you guys. Like these people trying to insert themselves in my life and trying to pretend that all this stuff is really like their business and it's not. It's not. It's not. I don't bring my kids up ever on my channel, but yet you keep bringing them up. They're poor kids. They're poor kids. You poor kids. You keep bringing up my kids over and over again. My kids said, stop bringing my, stop, stop bringing me up, but yet you continue to do. So you don't even respect my child when he says, don't talk to me. You don't even respect my child when he says that. That looks like my son right there, really? That looks like my son. Uh -huh. Hey son, come over here. Oh wow, all right. <laughs> yeah, her son was explaining the impact it has on him and yet you, you call him a liar for fuck's sakes, exactly. Because they don't wanna be caught in their lies. They don't wanna be caught in it. They don't want people to know the freaking truth. They end up just calling me a liar because I'm telling the truth. Yeah. yeah. 
As soon as I finally reveal the truth, they call me a liar, so they're... So their lies still have weight on them. Yup, that's all they can do is call you a liar. That's all they have. That's all they have. Fuck Jules. Fuck Jules. I want nothing to do with the crazy psycho. She keeps trying to insert herself in my life. Like I want anything to do with her. I, I like I told her several times I want nothing to do with her, but she keeps coming back. So I let her be a mod for a while, see what kind of crap she does. We know what kind of crap she did and pulled. Shoot, she pulled a lot of crap over that. Oh yeah, I want nothing to do with her. Oh, I shouldn't pull my children in this. I believe you guys have been pulling my children in this. Don't be saying I'm pulling my children into this when you were the guys who kept pulling my children in this by calling CPS and getting them freaking annoyed. You, you brought my children in this and you mad now that he's sticking up for himself. Fuck you. Fuck you. My son, I taught my son to stick up to himself to bullies. And he can. He can defend himself. And I'm proud that he can defend himself from straight up freaking adults who've tried everything in their power to ruin his life and my life and his brother's life and his father's life. You've done everything in your power to destroy our lives with this fake stupid outrage and this fake stupid concern. And it's not working anymore. You're just going to keep getting exposed. You keep getting exposed and it's getting worse. It's getting worse as time goes on. The more time goes on, the more you get exposed. The more time's on, the more you get exposed. You think I'm gonna shut my child up? You keep telling me, shut your child up, shut your child up. Why do you want, why should I shut my child up? So you could go ahead and say she's being abusive by controlling her child? I don't think so, man. Yeah, I'm continuing to talk about him. I can if I want to. He's my child, you stupid bitch. Is he your child? No. Why are you talking about him all the time? Why are you talking about him all the time? about the lasagna I'll eat it when I freaking want to you didn't expose me all you did was expose yourself that you do nothing but abuse children and you exploit children and you try to make someone into something they're not You just got caught. You didn't expose nothing. You got caught red-handed of being a liar. Of being a liar. You know? That's your new excuse. You're exploiting your child. You exploit my child, motherfuckers. You exploit my children. Every day you're talking about my children like they're your business. Every day. And when, I, when my son finally sent something, it's on me. Fuck you. Thank you, girl city. When you start talking about someone's children, that crosses the line and something is wrong with you. Yeah, and these people expected me not to be upset over this. Just to shut my mouth, right? Right, 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 right? I'm not supposed to stick up to obvious lies? I don't think so. You keep bringing us through this stuff. You keep traumatizing people. You keep bringing up old stuff, trying to make it seem like it's some kind of new and, and interesting thing. When all you do is you take little snippets that are completely like that, that don't really matter, but look negative, And you take it out of con context, you twist it and you distort it and you be like, see, this is how she really is. I told you guys. 
with a little fake, little fake, little fake voice on. Go fuck yourself. Oh, there we go. Maybe it's time you take a little break. Why? Why? Because you're being exposed? Because we're making you look stupid? I ain't taking a break from making you look stupid. You keep talking. I'll keep making you look stupid, dear. Why don't you go fuck yourself? How about that? Don't be telling me what the fuck to do. She just wants fucking numbers. I ain't doing shit or any fucking favors for that cunt. C-U-N-T, C-U-N-T, Jules is a C-U-N-T. Clip that, hold that down, and call me an awesome person for that. I really don't care. She just mad that she can't fuck my husband. That's all she about. She just mad she can't fuck my husband. Well, too bad. Too bad, Jules. You can't fuck my husband. Too bad. Because he's really fucking good in bed. Too bad. Keep crying. Keep whining. Keep crying. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Keep being mad. Keep telling me I need to get off the internet. Keep telling me to take off my shit. Keep doing it. I ain't giving her no power, girl. She ain't getting no power from me. Don't you worry about that. I'm showing the whole world who this lady is. This person I don't know in real life. This person who's done everything she could to manipulate situations. This person who pretends she's someone's friend to pretend they're someone. All this stuff. She's so into my husband, she calls CPS on me. Yes, she's that crazy. I don't care if I don't look like classy right now. I'm mama fucking bear. I'm motherfucking pissed. And mama bear is going to do what mama bear has to freaking do. You have a problem with that, go suck your dick. You want to come to me. You want to come to me. You started all this stuff. I'm just finishing it, man. It's done. It's over with. You know what, Blue? Go to hell. You started talking crap about my kids. I don't want nothing to do with you no more. I saw what you were saying in that other room. You think I'm deaf? You think I can't see nothing? I see it. I see it all. That's right, Adele. Mama Bear. I ain't having a mental aneurysm in front of my child, motherfucker. Get the fuck off my channel. Go to hell. You evil piece of shit. I hate people like you. You twist every other, you twist people's words. What did I make for dinner? We have, we have leftovers. Yeah, thank you, heretic. I'm not even pissed. I'm just making my point. That's right, man. That's right. You keep coming after me. You keep coming after my kids. My son said, leave me alone, stop talking about me. And your first reaction is, let's talk about the 14-year-old and, and completely not listen to her, his boundaries and completely disrespect his boundaries. That's what you do, man. You disrespect a 14-year-old's boundaries and then you want to go and say this. I am not a horrible mother. My children don't think I'm a horrible mother. Exactly. The trolls don't like that I'm making my point right now. 
You don't like it. Be big mad. Be mad. Be mad. I hope you're mad. I hope you're so mad you're red in the face. I hope you're so mad that it hurts your heart. I hope you're so mad that you just, you're so red in the face and you can't take it anymore. Be mad. Be mad that you got caught lying and, and tr abusing a whole family for years. Be mad. Be mad. I want you to be mad. I want you to be upset. Be mad. You reported my stream for child abuse. Oh, what child abuse? My son's saying his, his word. That ain't child abuse. They're going to see and they're going to see no child abuse in it. Everybody has limit, guys, and she's reached hers. I don't blame her. I'd go nuclear, too. That's right, man. I'm tired of it, man. Queen hasn't said anything. They just lying. I am raising my kids to turn out better than them. You see how respectful my son's ton is? It's respectful. And if my son's face was in the video, so what? He can. So what? What, what, you gonna have a problem with that? You gonna have a problem with that? Someone's face being in the video? Who the fuck cares? Why you have a problem with that? He can say whatever he wants. If he mad at you, that's your problem, man. There's a good reason why that kid gets upset with people. And it's, it's usually because you keep messing with them. And then you mad because he finally says stop. And you don't want to stop. You want to continue with the game. But you know what? Now you're at a position where you're going to have to listen to the child or you're going to look really bad on the internet. Because the, the, the child literally said, leave me and my brother alone. Stop talking about us. So what are you going to do? Continue to talk about them even though he said leave us alone? That's going to make you look really bad on the internet. That's going to make you look so bad on the internet that you had a 14-year-old say, stop talking about me, stop picking on me, stop abusing me, and you continue to do it. And then you say, I'm abusive to my sons, you're abusive to my kids. You don't even respect a child's freaking boundaries. And you want to say that I'm abusive. You can't even respect a 14-year-old's boundaries. <sighs> That's on you, and everyone's going to see it now. Everyone's going to see it. They're all going to see it, man. You abuse the mentally ill. You abuse women. You abuse children. <coughs> You abuse on people who have physical disabilities constantly, constantly. And you get all mad. You get all triggered. You feel all uncomfortable when someone finally calls you out on it. How about you get out of the kitchen if you can't take heat? It seems like you can't take the criticism. It seems like you can't take it, man. Seems like you can't take it. Keep calling me a bad mom because my son stuck up for himself. That's okay. Because most people who have a sound mind and better judgment will hear a 14-year-old literally telling people to leave their mom and leave him alone and stop calling authorities. Most people will hear that. They're not going to go and hear your little thing and your little your 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 little little paranoid thought that I'm abusing my son because there's no evidence of it. Yeah, exactly, Midnight Sun. They're the abusive ones. Knowing full well your 14 year old is a boy, intentionally calls him a girl. That's Karen, exactly. 
Exactly. Have I ever apologized? I've apologized a bunch of freaking times. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. The only thing is, these lying little freaking channels never show the apologies and keep saying that I don't make apologies. You know, they only show the bad, they never show the good. When I'm telling you there's mostly good instead of the bad, but now it's like they keep bringing my child up. They keep trying to push this abuse thing that I'm abusive and stuff on my family. Am I not supposed to stick up for myself when someone's saying I'm abusive? Am I not supposed to stick up for myself? Am I supposed to be like, yeah, I'm abusive. Yeah, I'm that person that I'm not. Am I supposed to be a walking thing? They're talking about my life. My life, they're not even in it. They don't even know me. And you dumb fucks are believing everything they say about me and they don't even know me. You're so stupid. Exactly. They always show the stuff that fits their narrative. And half the time, that doesn't even fit their narrative. I ain't confronting that hoe. She a liar. Why should I confront a liar? All they're going to do is continue to lie. Oh, yeah, she did, Billy Ann. Oh, yeah. She's all up on her channel saying how abusive I am. <laughs> These losers know you love your children and the one thing that you will react to is your kids. That's right, because I'm a good mom. So they attack you as a parent with lies. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. And the whole world is seeing it now. More and more people are catching on. And they're going to see it. And then it's going to be you that's going to be exposed instead of me. And you're going to get all the karma that you deserve. Everything. You're going to get all the karma you deserve. And I am chill. Because I am whatever I say I am. If I wasn't, then why would I say I am? In the paper, the news, every day I am. Radio won't even play my jam. I know, baby bear. Yup. Mm-hmm. 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 I know. I know. I know. Crazy cow? Well, how about motherfucking blocked? So you don't have to see this crazy cow and be able to react to it because you opened up your mouth like a rude man. Thank you, Midnight. They've been, they have been trying so hard to get to you and you haven't let them. So they went as low as possible and came after your kids. Despicable, disgusting. I know, man. I'm a narcissist, really? Where is the psychological diagnosis to that? Or are you assuming things because you don't like me and you think that's the only insult you can give someone? It, it, when, when the fact is, I wouldn't be showing this much emotion and wouldn't be caring about my kids if I was a fucking narcissist, you dumb, stupid motherfucker. Go fuck yourself, man. You put your fucking pitiful life on here and say rude shit on people on the internet under some faceless little troll disguised channel. What does that say about you? Do I think it was wise to let my son on camera? Heck yeah, man. He wanted to do that. He wanted to say what he wanted to say. And I'm not the type of person to tell my kids to shut up when they want to express themselves. If my son wants to express himself, he can. For the longest time, I keep telling my kids, be quiet, don't go on camera, don't go on camera, be quiet. And you know what? They keep breeding them up anyway. And then when we're like, don't go on camera, and we like, 
kind of like freak out on camera because they're about to be on camera. We get it turned around like we're giving our child a stink eye or hating on our kids and shit like that. When really we're just trying to protect our children from you assholes, which doesn't fucking happen. So yeah, I'm pretty pat proud that my son decided to say something because you know what? You guys are relentless and won't stop talking about my kids. So if he wanted to say something after all the nasty things you say about him and his mother, he can. Who the hell do you think you are telling someone what they have to say? You're pathetic. You just don't want to be caught into your lies. And you just want to keep this narrative that Shannon's abusive. And then everyone around Shannon's life is saying, no, that's not true. Thank you, bye boys. He didn't show his face. It's funny because they act so worried about them, but yet they won't even listen to him when he decides to speak. Exactly. Her son is freaking 14. He's old enough to speak for himself with mom's supervision, which is what happened. Exactly. Exactly. You say you care about him. You say you care about him, and when he finally says something, you're calling him a liar? You're calling him a girl? You don't care about him. You stay mad, Wilson. You stay mad, you psychopath. Stalking people all the time. I mean, it's not like your son is five. He is a teenager. Like, come on, hit, come on, his, and, and not a baby. He spoke up. Exactly. Why shouldn't my kids speak up? Because you say it's bad because it makes you look bad? Come on. You keep speaking. You keep saying what you think you know in my freaking household. Well, he just told you what happened in my household. But it doesn't go along with your narrative now, does it? So you got to go and call my son a liar. Because you got you you can't be caught in lying about me. You can't. But you did, and it's over now. There's nothing you can do. So all you're gonna do is try to point things out. Look, she exploited her child. Nah, he stuck up for himself. I'm not trying to yell. I'm pissed off. This, these people are trying to exploit my children and myself. And so what are her kids just supposed to keep taking all these lies and not wanting to set it straight? Exactly. Exactly. They don't like he spoke up because it dismantles the haters' opinions and lies. Exactly. One thing I will tell you, Shani, good job on your son. He talks very proper and well-smoking and not one bad word. No, he doesn't. I taught him to respect people. At 14, I wish someone would talk to my mom sideways. It would not be good. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. My kids are awesome, man. They're awesome. Sorry he wrecked your paradigm, baby bitches. That's right. My son just blew everything up, man. He, he, he was like, Mom, I am tired of these people doing this to you. What's up, Nikado? How you doing? Oh, really? Kids from Borderlines walk on eggshells? That, you lie. You know nothing about Borderline. You know nothing about borderline, Rihanna. You know nothing about borderline. Because most people who have borderline personality disorder, guess what we do? We respect boundaries. And I would never step on that kid's boundaries. Why would I disrespect my son like that? I would never want him to walk on eggshells around him. I'd never want him to or, around me. I want, I want him to feel free to be himself around me. Don't you be lying about that and putting stigmas on borderline like that. You lie. You lie.
You lie about me not having BPD. You lie about that. You just want to invalidate everyone that says something that goes against your narrative. You have no proof. Most people who have borderline and talk to me know I have borderline because you know why? They know the language. Exactly, uh, Optimus Prime. Too many people trying to silence these young adults to mean, to mean that gives them power to speak up. That's right. It's crazy how this, these people claim you don't have mental issues, but now you do have it. What is it? Laugh out loud. They can't make up their mind. No, they can't. Because they have to invalidate everything that happens in someone's life. <laughs> I mean, I am eating my lasagna. <laughs> Just having because I've been on a rage. I don't lie. What am I lying about? Hmm? That's all you people say. You say I lie, but you never say what I lie about. She's a liar, and she's abusive, and she's this, all these labels, but never any real reason. You know, and all these stupid people coming, you need, you, you shouldn't let your children be affected by these adult issues. How do I not let them affected when you're constantly calling CPS and getting cops out, uh, over the house? How does that not affect them? Am I supposed, like, how does that not affect them? Please, someone tell me. How does that not affect them? I don't know anything about King Cobra. I don't know anything about him. So if you're coming to me saying I said something about King Cobra, I didn't because I don't know this dude. Crazy, when was the last time they called CPS? Last Tuesday. Yup, the trolls, they don't know how to react to this. I'm seeing you, lady. Yeah, the trolls will impersonate anyone these days. That's right, man. I don't go to people's channels and talk crap to them. I don't. I edify people when I go on their channel. Mm-hmm. I do. Lady, dude. You have no idea. Them doing that and claim they care about them. Like, do they not know the trauma they're going to give them? Shake my head. I know, right? I'm okay. I'm okay, lady. I'm okay. I'm just, I'm like, I, it's just, it's to the point now. Where I'm, it, it, it's like, how, how much... Do I have to go? How many authorities have to come in my life before this stops? This, this, this theory that I'm abusive. When is it going to stop? So there you go. Again, so many lies from Shani. What lies? What am I lying about? I ain't lying about anything, man. You guys are doing this constantly. How would you like CPS and cops showing up to your house every other week? How would you like it? How would you like it? I bet you wouldn't like it at all. I bet you would speak up too. I bet you'd get annoyed by it too. Bet you would. Bet you anything you would. Come to me. 
Uh, there we go. Shani can't stop lying. What am I lying about? Do you need something? <laughs> All right. Honestly, I don't know how you do it. One person is mean to me. I can't sleep at night. What they are putting your boys through is traumatic and that is abusive. Exactly. Exactly. And they mad now that he said stop doing it to us. My mom is in that way. They're mad. They're mad. Be mad. Be big mad. I want you to be mad. Oh no, not the kids. Uh, yeah. They're, they're attacking my son right now. Calling him a liar. And they even called him abusive for him standing up and saying my mom isn't abusive and she's not like that and you need to leave us alone. So they're going to call him a liar and they won't respect his boundaries and leave him and his brother alone. They're not going to. They're going to go after my kids now. Bright side, Shani, as you know, they won't win. The truth prevails, and they're making themselves look like scumbag fools. I know, man. They are mad because he stood up for himself and destroyed their false narrative, right? Right? Love you too, Salem Mac. Love you too. Mm. Maybe it was the school. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I doubt I, I doubt when the CPS said someone from Australia called. I doubt that's really their teacher. You know what I mean? Now they have to frantically regroup before the cognitive dissonance kicks in. I know, right? Right? How dare you bring your child on? How dare my child stick up for himself with your stupid lies about him? You gotta be out of your mind, man. People have every right to stick up for themselves when they're being lied about. And I'm telling you this, my son hasn't looked much, he looks happy that he finally got this out of his system. He's happy that he got this out of his system. He's happy. Yeah, I keep telling CPS, why, why are you believing someone from another country about what happens in my life? You seem kind of dumb. And she's like, well, you know, we have to take every call seriously. He, yeah, okay. You just wasting your time, man. You can go fuck yourself too, lady. I don't want nothing to do with you. You fake as fake can be, Janice. You're fucking fake. Pure desperation to be calling from Australia to report a YouTube across the world for made-up lie. I know. Right? Thank you. Thank you, Optimus Prime. Oh yeah, my my son is happy that he finally got to say what he wanted to say, man. He's happy about this. <coughs> you 
You know, he never has to worry about that stuff again. So these same people wouldn't stick up for their mother if people are spreading lies about her? Absolutely ridiculous. What a way to use up valuable resources when people could actually be in trouble. I know, right? I'm physically abusive? Really? Where's your proof? I know, right? I'm parading my kids online? Really? You keep fucking mentioning them. I brought my kids once. Today. 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 You guys are obsessed with my children and my life for some weird reason. Why are you so obsessed with it? I guarantee I don't watch anything you guys do. I don't watch anything you guys do. Nothing. Nothing. And the only reason why I knew about Jules is one of my mods told me about it. And then I was like, fuck this shit. Poor kids have to hear hear the screaming. They don't mind because they know I'm sticking up for them. What, you, you're gonna, you think my sons are going to have a problem with me sticking up for them and being a mom? Did, wait, what was that? I really don't care. You're standing up for us. These people are just making up crap to make it look like we're being forced to do this when we're not. Now he's getting confidence to speak out. <laughs> They're obsessed with the kids because they know a sure way to, to a mother is through her kids. Thank you, Huda. She deletes all the comments about her kids and doesn't allow anything to be brought up about her boys. This finally crossed the line and she is done. You people are hurting innocent people. Exactly, Billy Ann. Exactly. Not only me, it was my son that's had it. What, you want me to keep telling my kids to shut up? For your sake? Nah, man. Nah, man. What does Rev think about this? He loves it, man. These people can't respect boundaries, but somehow Shani is at fault for that. Get the fuck out. Exactly, man. Exactly. You keep bringing up people's kids, and then when they finally say something, you're like, oh, you're exploiting your child. You're exploiting my child. I don't abuse my kids. All right, who dat? Love you. Kids shouldn't be involved in YouTube drama. Well, if they're not supposed to be involved in YouTube drama, why do these motherfuckers keep bringing up my kids? Like it's any of their business. Why do they keep bringing them up? Please tell me. Why do they keep bringing them up? Why do they keep trying to make it seem like I'm some abusive person? Oh no, Shannon got annoyed by someone. Oh no, Shannon said something in, in anger. That means I'm abusive because I said a couple words in anger, right? Right? When everyone else does, it's okay for them. It's not okay for me, right? There's some kind of double Shannon standard where I'm held to this high standard where I have to be this perfect fucking cupcake and everyone else can be fucking dickholes. Fuck your standards of being a proper fucking people. I don't I don't want it. I don't want your standards of what being a perfect person is. I ain't bringing up my kids. You just brought up my kids, stupid. 
You're saying I'm the one bringing up my kid? You just brought him up. You just brought them up. What are you talking about? I know, man. It's so bad, man. They're all just panicking because they don't know what to do. Now their only resort is... Yep. This is child abuse for me coming out. Yep. Thank you, Adele. Kids shouldn't have to endure CPS and cops being called all the time. Exactly. Exactly. What you gonna do about it? What you gonna do? Call, call the cops and CPS again? Because he said something? Oh, no. Will, you're in camera. Yeah. What you gonna do? Cut his face out and make fun of him? Call him a girl again? Don't feed the trolls. I'll feed them if I freaking want to. I'll feed them poison. I'll say whatever the hell I want. Why you want me to be quiet? Why you want me to be quiet? Oh, I know why you want me to be quiet. Because you're looking really bad right now. That's why you want me quiet. See, I know. Exactly. The trolls stay fed by eating each other's asses, right? Who called my son a girl? Uh, what was, who is their name? Ah, uh, they have a picture of, um, I can't remember their name. They're assholes. Jazzy, if you ever freaking cared, you wouldn't bring up my kids. If you actually freaking cared, you wouldn't say things rudely to me to try to upset me. If you actually cared, you'd mind your own business and allow me to freaking make a video and enjoy making a freaking video. Is it hard watching us struggle? Really? It's really hard watching us struggle. Well, how about instead of giving me a hard time, how about you go to these people and you tell them to stop treating people like crap and stop lying about them. If you really care. Right, baby bear? Yeah, one in the chat, you love lasagna. How's the lasagna? The lasagna is delicious. The lasagna is like cheesy goodness. I mean, that's delicious lasagna. But I'm certainly going to speak out. But I ain't going to say their names at the same time because that pisses them off and I know it pisses them off and it makes me laugh. <laughs> I mean, th this, is, this is what makes me such a horrible, abusive person because I told a story that literally just ha ha happened of my son farting on my other son. And then I told, I told my audience about my son farting on his, on his brother or in trying to get his brother in trouble for it. And, and that makes me a terrible parent for telling a cute kid story. That's what makes me a terrible person. And, and, but the thing is, in that video, my son got embarrassed and said, please stop talking about us. And, and, and yeah. But this happened like three years ago, like a long time ago. You know, obviously his voice has changed since then. Obviously he's grown. But they turned this, this little thing that lasted maybe two minutes in our lifetime, like quick, quick and over, we didn't care afterwards. They turned this two, this two minute thing and, and blew it up and been talking about it for years on how I'm such a horrible mother. That is so uncalled for. We are trying to resolve this. Yeah, well, puberty is a thing. 
Heaven forbid a parent makes a mistake. I know. I know. I'm supposed to be perfect. I tell people I'm not perfect, but I'm supposed to be expected to be perfect at all times. My God, I never thought talking about a little cute freaking kid thing was going to be turned into, you're such a horrible parent. Laugh out loud, that's all they got. Ha ha ha. Yeah, I know, right? That's all they got. That's all they got is, is me telling a story about my son farting on his brother and my son getting upset over it. Your son is going to be a successful person. You just watch, and that's the biggest slap for the haters. Exactly, baby bear. I have Beyond Me in my lasagna. Right, man? The allies would have lost World War II if this end result. Huh? I added eggs in the ricotta. Two eggs. I love Beyond Meat. That is the only time you have ever mentioned your sons? No, but it's like... Like... I don't talk bad about my kids at all. Some of, oh, you see, you hear this threat. Some of us are mandated reporters. So keep threatening anyone who calls. We would get in trouble for not reporting certain things. What are you reporting other than stupid lies and assertions? You act like a mother can't freaking talk about her kid. Or yell at her kid. Or, 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 or look at her child in any way. Psycho. You people are psychos. Mandated reporters. More like mandated fucking liars. What are you fucking reporting? This girl on the internet said things really loud and it made my ears hurt. You need to check on the children. I'm really worried about them. You know, the thing is, families fight. Parents make mistakes, and so do children. I've never met a perfect family. Shani loves, respects, supports, takes care of her boys, and meets their needs and wants. Exactly. Why did someone super chat about World War II? Beats me. They have to think of the worst thing possible and try to apply it to me to make me look bad. I, I boiled the lasagna noodles halfway before I put them in the lasagna because I didn't want them over, I didn't want to overcook them. So I undercooked them before I assembled the lasagna. My God. You need to tell them to spell mandated reporter. <laughs> Some of us are mandated reporters and we got a man and we got a tattletale on you if you get too loud. Or if you say something I don't wanna hear. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You talking out of your ass, that's what you doing. Oh, go fuck yourself, Jazzy. People know I don't fucking attack them. Stop causing trouble. I think normal people can understand, like normal people, maybe not your generation, but normal people can understand that I'm upset about a situation.
Yeah, having CPS called on you must feel like a hell of a tack. Yes, and I'm just supposed to be okay with it. Because they're just concerned about my children. If you were so concerned about my children, you would actually listen to my son when he said stop doing this and stop making excuses about doing it to families. Psychopaths. I can agree with the Allies should have lost, but right now we are, are talking about something serious. Imagine harassing people for views. Exactly. Exactly. I'm confused. You haven't been doing anything but your cooking show and staying in your own lane. Just focus in on your blessings. Exactly. Exactly, but they're they're coming to me and bringing my kids in. Yeah, right? There are plenty of kids that need CPS help, and they won't do shit for these kids. I love the cooking shows. That's what I'm going to focus on, but today, nah. Mom had to go and focus on her little ones and these lies that are being perpetuated. I need some serious cooking lessons, really, Jeff. What reason do I need cooking lessons? Please explain. World War II was in the past, let it go. <laughs> well, I, uh, apparently I'm guilty for that, too. I didn't know that. I wasn't born at that time, but okay. I know midnight, and they're just looking bad right now. They don't, they, but here's the thing. They're so arrogant. They think they look good by doing this stuff. They don't realize how creepy and disgusting they look by doing this stuff to others. They don't see it. Think how many kids need a loving home, and that's what Shanty kids have, and they want to take that away. That's evil. I know, right? Well, first of all, I'm not 600 pounds. I don't know why you keep saying I'm 600 pounds, but it's really hard to look like this and be 600 pounds. I mean, I know I got big tits, but I got a small little itty bitty waist. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Chantel is about 400 pounds and I'm nowhere close to her. What you talking about, bro? 600 pounds. I gotta get going, folks. Can't get any alone time. How do we stop the trolls for good? I don't know. Thank you, Absurdity. I've been working really hard. You know how I walk. And I've, I've been trying to walk legitly, but it's hard when you're constantly in pain. And then you can't stop them. Just stay better than they are, which is easy. Just make, keep making cooking videos. I am. Yes, Alma Rose. I can't get any alone time. Do you know what that means? 
You take care of yourself, Shady. We are behind you. Tell them, boys, we are behind them, too. Y'all don't deserve this. Thank you, Billy Ann. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate that. You look good. What is wrong with people? They constantly want to invalidate me and, and make me feel bad about myself. Just so they can have some kind of laugh. I don't know why it's funny, you know, to pick on people. I've never saw that funny or entertaining in any way. I've always found it cruel and, and, and really it makes me feel bad for y'all. But anyway, my son, he wants to come down and um, chill out. So I'm going to be the neglectful parent that y'all know I am as and, um, you know, hang out with my kid. <laughs> You love how serene I am when I'm preparing a meal for my family. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad that people are beginning to see it. No. Can you actually listen to my children now that we've gone through this and listen to my child when he says he doesn't want to be brought up anymore? Can you please respect my son's boundaries when he says he doesn't want to be talked about anymore, that he's fine? Can you believe what he says? You know, you say you care about him. He's saying this. You should believe what he says. You know, he's 14. He has the opportunity right now. If he actually hated me like you try to make a seem, he has the opportunity to totally diss me and say, nah, I want to be gone. Guys, help me. You know what to do. He would say that if he was actually being abused. Most kids would. I did. They experience narcissistic rage when presented with boundaries. Exactly, man. I've even told them to leave me alone and they don't. They're like, no, I'm not going to. I'm going to continue harassing you for the rest of your life. So anyway. Hi, hubby. Hi, baby. I love you. It's obvious how much you love your family and how much they love you. Y'all care for each other and take care of each other. We do. That's very true. And we're going to continue to. So keep flapping your gums. Keep saying I'm abusive all you want. My son said otherwise. And you know what? I think intelligent adults will believe my son over lying people who don't even know me in real life. 